Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Easy Peasy Vocab. Hello, my name is Preposition. Do you know me? Okay, let's take a look at what is a preposition. A word used with a noun or pronoun to show direction, time, place or location. It allows relationships to be formed between the words in a sentence to make it easily understandable and sensible. Let's take a look at the first picture. What do you see? You see a cat and a table. Where is the cat? The cat is under the table. So under will be the preposition. What is the noun in the sentence? Cat is the noun in the sentence. So what is under doing here? It is telling us where the cat is, right? It is under the table. In the second picture, you can see a sun in the clouds, right? The sun shines in the sky. So where is the sun shining? In the sky. So what is the noun in this sentence? Sun is the noun in this sentence. What is the sun doing? Shining. So shines will be the verb. And what is in doing? In is our preposition. What is it doing? It is connecting the noun, the sun, and telling us where it is located, right? The sun shines in the sky. Where? In the sky. So, in is the preposition in this sentence. Classification of prepositions. Let's take a look at the three types of prepositions. What are they? Preposition of place, preposition of time, and preposition of moment. The first one is preposition of place. It indicates where someone or something is. What do you see in the first picture? You can see some books on the table, right? The books are on the table. So on is the preposition here. What is on doing? It is telling us where the books are. So tell me where are the books? The books are on the table. In the second picture, you can see a rabbit in a basket, right? The rabbit is in the basket. So in is the preposition here. What is in doing? It is telling us where the rabbit is. So where is the rabbit? It is in the basket. The second type is the preposition of time. It indicates when something happened. In the first visual, you can see a cricketer is playing on the field. And what else do you see in the visual? You can see sun, right? So the cricket match took place in the morning. So the sun indicates that the cricket match took place in the morning. So in is the preposition here and what is in doing for us? It is telling us when the cricket match took place. When did it take place? It took place in the morning. So that is a preposition of time because it is telling us when it happened. In the second visual, you can see a girl uh, happily sitting on the couch reading and drinking some milk. We don't go to school over the weekend. So what does that visual tell us? She's having the weekend vibes and she's ready to chill and enjoy, right? So over is the preposition in the sentence. And what is it telling us? That we don't go to school over the weekend. The third one is the preposition of movement. It indicates when someone or something is moving. In the first visual, you can see a bear going on a train. I love traveling by train. By is the preposition. What is by doing? It is telling you that you love traveling by train. That it shows movement. In the second visual, you can see a ball in water. What does that indicate? Can you think of something? Yes, it's a beach, right? 
Let's look at the sentence. We will go to the beach after lunch. So after is the preposition here. And what is after doing? When will we go to the beach? We are going to the beach after lunch. So after is the preposition here because it shows movement. When you have to go to beach, you have to go on a, um, you have to go by car or you have to go uh, in a train, right? It shows some sort of movement. Let's see some common prepositions. You don't need to memorize these, but just take a look at the common prepositions. About, above, across, after, against, along, around, at, before, behind, below, beneath, between, down, during, for, from, in, inside, off, on, out, outside, over, past, through, to, toward, under, until, up, with, into, beside, near, in front of, by. Remember, what do you see in the first picture? You can see a woodpecker climbing up the ladder. So up is the proposition here. In the second image, you can see a cat over the wall. Cat went over the wall. So over is the preposition. And the third picture shows that the man came through the door and went along the hall. So through and along are the prepositions. On your skates with the ball. You can see a boy on his skates with the ball. On and with are prepositions. So prepositions link them all. Hooray! You got your prepositions. Note, do not end a sentence with a preposition. This is very, very important. Never end a sentence with a preposition because it doesn't make sense. If you end a sentence with a preposition, it would be fragmented and it would not be complete. A preposition should end with an object of the preposition, which is a noun. Let's see what a phrase means before we go to the prepositional phrase. What is a phrase? A small group of words that stand together to express a complete thought in a sentence. Let's see what a prepositional phrase means. It is also a group of words but that contains a preposition and ends with an object of the preposition. Now let's look at the example. When you look at the example, you can easily understand. Let's look at the first sentence, the cat on. My sentence ended with on. On is the preposition. Does it make sense? Do you know anything about the cat? Where is the cat or what is it doing? You don't have any other extra information, right? So that doesn't make any sense and it is a fragmented sentence. We will talk about the type of sentences in a later video. Let's take a look at the second sentence. The cat on the bed slept. The cat on the bed. Where is the cat? It is on the bed. What is it doing? It slept, right? So on the bed is the prepositional phrase. Where on is the preposition and bed would be the object of the preposition. Let's see the prepositions in this paragraph. Chess is one of the oldest and most popular board games in the world. So off is the preposition and in is the preposition. In the world will be the prepositional phrase because in is the preposition and world would, would be the object of the preposition. Our school has a chess club. It meets on Tuesdays after school for an hour. So here it is telling the preposition of time. So when are they meeting? On Tuesdays after school. So on and after are prepositions. For is also a preposition. 
the members study the rules of the game and talk about different strategies for playing well. So, of, about and for are prepositions in that sentence. Before a tournament, the club members meet for practice games. When do they meet? They meet before a tournament. So, before is a preposition and for is also a preposition in that sentence. During the games, the players concentrate hard. So, when do they concentrate hard? During the games. So, during would be the preposition. So, you are starting the sentence with a prepositional phrase. During the games is a prepositional phrase where during is the preposition and games is the object of the preposition. I am thinking about joining the chess club. About is the preposition in the last sentence. Kudos to you for your phenomenal hard work on this prepositions. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment for more videos.